So about six months ago, I was down here in my studio listening to some reel-to-reel -reel tapes on this Pioneer, and it got me to thinking. You see, a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder such as this one has two different speeds, a low and a high, three and three-fourths inches per second, and seven and a half inches per second. Tape recordings made at the lower speed sound pretty good, but when you record them at the higher speed, they sound absolutely fabulous. Well, it got me to thinking about another very popular um, format for music, one much more popular than reel-to-reel, -reel, and that would be the compact cassette. Cassette tapes usually run at 1 and 7 eighths inches per second, and I wondered if there was a way to run a cassette at a higher speed than that. Well, it occurred to me that a lot of double-deck cassette recorders have the ability to high-speed dub tapes. In other words, if you want to take a source and you want to make a copy of it, you can do that very quickly using the high speed dubbing feature. Usually it just runs the tapes, both tapes, at twice the normal speed. So when you have this one sped up by twice the speed and this one sped up by twice the speed, well when you play them back normal, they're going to be at normal speed. Well what if we could speed up only one of the tape decks? That's what we're going to be doing in this video. Well, somewhat. We will need a cassette. I'm just using a standard type 1 tape. You'll need a double deck cassette recorder such as this Sony capable of high speed dubbing cassettes. And you will need one of these little cassette adapters that allows you to plug an eighth inch source into here and put audio into a cassette deck. They're commonly available from like Radio Shack uh, and I believe Walmart, Target, a lot of those stores have them. I'll put a link to one in the description. Let's test out this idea and see if it actually works. The first source material that we're going to be using is a track called You Make Me Feel So Young from a Michael Buble album played back on this Techniques SLQ200 turntable. So the first step in this process is to record a bass line. In other words, we're just going to record a tape normally, just so that we have something to compare the final result to. So uh, I like to keep things equal. We're going to, even though we could technically just, you know, plug it directly into the line and on the back, there could be some differences there. So we're going to still go through the exact same thing. We're going to do these both the same exact way. So without further ado, let's record the baseline tape. Make me feel so young. So now that we've got our baseline completed, let's record our actual test at twice the normal cassette speed. This should be three and three fourths inches per second. And of course, you want to switch things into the high speed dubbing mode. Make me feel so young. Now we have both our baseline and test recording done, and we need to play them back. However, before we do, I just wanted to explain something in a little bit more detail in case you didn't quite understand it earlier. When you usually high speed dub a cassette, both tapes are sped up to twice the normal speed, okay? Which means that all of the frequencies on this tape are going to be shifted up times two, this being the tape that's played back. It's being recorded on this tape at the exact same speed that this one's being played back at. So later on, when this tape is played back at the standard speed, as this tape was originally recorded, the frequencies on it will shift back down to be a standard sounding tape. Hopefully that makes sense and I've better clarified it. If I didn't, let me know in the comments below and I can try and explain it a little bit better than that. But hopefully uh, that will clear up any confusion. Well, why that didn't happen here was because we used this instead of a standard cassette tape. No matter how fast these reels spin, the audio is going to be normal because we've actually just got a head in here. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a neat idea, actually. Um, so, to play this tape back is pretty simple. We put it in the play side. In the record side, we've just got to fake this deck into thinking that there's a tape in here that we want to record on. To do that, there's just a little piece that you push up on the left side of the tape deck. You can put it in the record. Some tape decks are a little bit more complicated, like the one on the bottom here. It's got a fully digital set of controls instead of just the piano keys, as these are usually referred to. 
um, and so you might have to really mess around with trying to figure out how exactly to do that but it's usually just a matter of holding uh, you know little levers up up here be careful that you don't bend or break them off though okay so now without further ado I'm going to present to you the results You make me feel so young You make me feel that spring has sprung And every time I see you grin I'm such a happy individual The moment that you speak I want to go play hide and seek I want to go and bounce the moon Just like toy balloon are just like couples of pots Running around the meadow Picking up all those forget-me-lots Well, did you hear a difference between the two recordings? Let's take another listen, this time with a track off of Peter, Paul, and Mary's album See What Tomorrow Brings, the track entitled Betty and Dupree. So we've got our two recordings made, and now we are going to play them back. So there's example number two, Peter, Paul, and Mary, and Betty and Dupree. For the third example, we're going to go to Todd Rundgren's Something Anything album in the first track, entitled I Saw the Light. So now we've got both the bass line and the test recorded. Let's play them back. Well, there you have it. That is recording at double speed on cassette tapes. If you want to try this out yourself, there are a couple of things that I think that you should consider. Uh, the first is tape time. Of course, we're running at twice the normal speed. That means you're going to have half the amount of tape time per cassette. So a 60-minute cassette now becomes a 30-minute cassette uh, and so on. 
The other thing to consider is the specific tape deck that you own, um, because I found that the Sony, which is what I use today, I think that the recordings uh, sound better at a higher speed, but on the JVC, which is this tape deck, I think that actually the recordings sound better at standard speed on it, uh, but I have a feeling that's because it gets into a lot more advanced settings. So. If it's something that you'd like to play around with a little bit, let me know what your results were in the comments section below. I'm curious what you end up with as your results. Well, thanks for watching, and that is all today for Mike's Tech.